drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go. And we've got Fargo flying through the air. High tide launching two. There goes the Citrix cir Citrus Circuits. Can these teams achieve that quintet as time runs out? I believe both teams did. We'll see, yep, yes they did. We've got the Robot Dolphins and High Tide on the Red Alliance. Citrus Circuits and Team Four Element working for the Blue Alliance. Number one and number two seeds. Cargo is being furiously shipped overnight. Express next day air. We've got Cerbotics 4400 trying to defend against Citrus Circuits. And there's the Robot Dolphins doing the same. Team 4 Element has two pieces of Red Alliance cargo. And here's Citrus Circuits launching cargo into the upper hub from the Blue Alliance launch pad. Team 4 pinning the Robot Dolphins up against the wall. Citrus Circuits making in some more Cargo for the Blue Alliance into the upper hub. Here comes High Tide. One, two, and then another. Oh, the third coming in from the Robot Dolphins bouncing on the opposite rim. It's currently 58 to 54. Both teams have already achieved their cargo bonus. Sea Kings Robotics trying to defend High Tide, preventing them from scoring anymore. But one, oh, one bounces off the rim. It's 58 to 56. 60 to 56, 60 to 58, and it's 62 to 58. That score is updating almost as quickly as the gas prices in Los Angeles. And that horn means it's less than 30 seconds. Here's team four and Citrus Circuits. They're looking to climb. 4,400 has their hooks up. 15 seconds left. This might come down to the climb. 10 seconds. Robot Dolphins are on the high rung. Here comes High Tide with two, one. Alliance giving Citrus Circuits the first loss, but they still come in away with two ranking points for both Cargo and Hanger. And the Red Alliance has the full ranking for